afternoon, almost evening. Uh, let's get back into Elder Scrolls. It's going to be a short stream because I'm shopping. I only just got back. I'm just going to wait till dinner time, but I think I might as well just stream now. Let me wait till after dinner. Another shred of a habit? The blood seems more spotty. From a sword, maybe. Let's keep looking. I can't even remember what I was up to. Oh, that's right. goes cold yes but what is that a cameo the face looks this was not dropped by accident walker there must be more to find this is a nursery rhyme isn't it like the one busby read every night as a kitten srendar's mercy please hurry walker swadoklo busby recognizes that pattern come let's keep looking come And we find a death coin lost, of course. Something that gleams to take to the sands behind the stars. We should talk. The bloody bandages, the cameo, and swaddle cloth. All these trinkets and mementos lead to a forbidden place. Bandar's litter. Busby has not been totally honest with you, Walker. This one has a very personal stake in his business. The drought. It's because of me. That is why Vasby insisted on being the one to investigate. Every year, on this one's birthday, someone leaves a gift outside the cloisters. Gifts like the nursery rhyme, coin and cameo we found, you see? Days after the aqueduct ran dry, the gift giver left a jug of cold, fresh water outside this one's door. It was a message, you see, for Vasby. Now we find these dressings and keepsakes, all leading to Bandar's litter. My... our answers are there. Old ghosts haunt this place. Angry spirits that moan and howl, curses in the night. Silujo always insisted we stay away. I hate to disobey him, but we have no choice. The last sluice gate and the person we pursue are both inside. Are you prepared?
we saw someone. Why do they run? We do not mean them any harm. There they go. Is that the same one as before? Breaking me out a little. Finally, you have come home at last. The hell? Beloved, what? How the hell did she get out there? We, we only want to restore the water. Water? No, no, no. You come for answers, child. Answers from ashes. Take her to our camp at the Bandar Gate. Kill the other and cleanse him in flame. Scouring fire will claim Sarindar's cradle soon enough. I lost their minds. Silujo saw everything. We must save Vasby quickly, please. I may not be Vasby's father, but I feel a father's love for her. What parent would let their child wander the Kaj with a stranger? Silujo followed at a distance, but could not stop Vasby in time. The stricken cats took her deeper into the canyon. The flu. Time heals some wounds and causes others to fester. Sometimes even the greatest healer cannot see all ends. Forgive me. Sulu Joe is an old cat. He rambles. We must go to the Bandar Gate to halt the flames and save my Vasby. There is a cavern deep within the litter. If memory serves, it ascends to the Bandar Gate. We will find the aqueduct blockage and the Vasby there. Come, we must hurry. Silo Joe will try to make these sick, scarred cats see reason. To cure a sickness, I think. Guard, you see, we call them the stricken. After the Nahatan flu ravaged their bodies, the people of elsewhere cast them out. They 
king will spend us cradle once for him, but the king's vizier would have put our adeptorium to the torch if he knew we harbored the sick. You should know the reason they hate us. They wish to burn our home because I cast them into Banda's litter to die. Silu Joe must speak to you. Before we go further, we must speak. The Bandar Gate lies beyond that door. The Stricken's leader as well, Vasby's true father. His love and sorrow has turned to hatred for me. Silu Joe has no illusions. Death waits for this one through this passage for the actions of his past. Really? Silu Joe does not fear this death if it will save Vasby. Before it happens, though, this one must ask. You now know the story of Srenda's cradle, of the sick left to die. When this one is gone, Vasby will have questions. What will you tell her? Silu Joe understands. It can be difficult to know what to do in such a position, but this one cannot say what he did was wrong. As loathsome as it was as cruel, it was not wrong. I only hope my child will understand. Now come, Vasby waits. Please, Walker, if there is any way to spare Hulz or have mercy. Vasby knows he is mad, but to lose two fathers at once. Srendar, help me. This one is so lost. Moons, why did Silujo come here? He must have known the stricken would kill him. This one only needed saving because she disobeyed Silujo. He came here because of Vasby. He dies because of Vasby. This one knows. Hulza told me about how he and his wife, my mother, came to the cradle with a tiny Vasby in their arms. He described the long march to Bandar's litter and the cold moonless nights that followed. More suffering on my account. How could it not be Vasby's fault? Had Hulza's wife not carried Vasby in her womb, they never would have come to Srenda's cradle. Had Vasby not sought to restore the water, Silujo would live. Please, just find Hulza. Vasby must work. Huh. Oh, okay. 
recently or? Sorry, right, yeah, I missed your message. I wasn't. I've been looking at chat for a little bit. A little light now. Yeah, suck for her. She's not actually the blind, but I get I get where she's coming from though. Still silly though. Maybe could have just jumped off the cliff. Fired it along. Come back with some mana to bring the best idea. Oh, it's too late right now. God, I hate hockeys. supposed to come out. You return. Good. Vasby already loses too much today. Silo John did not... Vasby could not... He is gone. His soul wandered. The other adepts mourn for him as Vasby does. But they do not know the truth of his death or the cost of the water you restored. But you know. Vasby knows, and it may be too much for her to bear. Vasby loved this place. She idolized Silujo and the other healers. She prayed to Srendar for the strength and wisdom to serve as well as those who came before. But Srendar's cradle is a lie. My dream is a lie. What is Vasby to do? 
The people of elsewhere think that the adepts of the cradle worked miracles to stave off the flu. Now I see that they only hid the sick in the wilderness to let them die. How can this one just ignore that? How can I dedicate my life to such a place? Yes, this one will stay, but I will not lie about what happened here. Silujo made an impossible choice, but the people deserve to hear the truth. Thank you, Walker. We only just met, but you are the closest thing to family that Vazbi has left. Brothers, sisters, Vazbi must... I just got to this region. I only played this for the first time this year, so... Before he passed, this one learned the truth of the stricken. Of the role we healers played in their suffering. No longer. In Shrendar's name, we must go to Banda. I mean, technically, this is a DLC region, so it's not the first region really supposed to do. And I'm doing everything in release order, so. Except I skipped Cyrodiil. you do something? Of course. I'll have the town guards investigate tonight. Thank you, Magnate Feinadara. And who do we have here? Come, let us speak. Welcome to the town of Hakoshe. I must say it is not often I see a new face. Have you perhaps come to take part in our festival? The Proving Festival, yes. Through a series of trials, the people of Hakoshe must prove themselves to their ancestors. We do so by completing three trials, otherwise known as the Three Proofs. First, the Proof of Reference calls on our ancestors to witness our deeds. Second, the Proof of Strength displays our might and bravery. Lastly, the Proof of Wisdom tests our knowledge and wit. Through these trials, we show our worth. Of course, I'm sure you too have ancestors you wish to honor. First, you must speak with Domitia Nasica. You'll find her just by the river. Listen well to her words, for she will guide you through your first trial. Let me know if you have any other questions. I realize that Hakoshe can be quite the curiosity for travelers such as yourself. Nothing to worry about. Of course, I'd never dismiss a citizen who seeks my aid. Having the town guards investigate will help ease Domitia's fears. Though Hakoshe is known for its Akaviri, I hold the title of Magnet, though I have no emperor who supports me. Still, my family because it was our family who founded it. Yes, as is my family's tradition. We tend to keep closer to our Akaviri heritage. The Proving Festival, I'm not sure. I am not sure about this. Alarm bells are ringing off and I don't know why. 
You're that traveler I saw earlier. Do you need something? Truly, that was certainly nice of her. Your first step is to complete the proof of reverence. This trial allows us to call upon our ancestors to watch over us as we prove ourselves worthy of their name. With this paper lotus, write the names of your honored ancestors on its petals and place the lotus in the river. This will allow it to float into the afterlife. Think of it like a calling card, a way to get your ancestors to pay attention. Return to me when you've completed... Before we can prove ourselves to our ancestors. Yes, it is. I used to when I was little. Whenever I would go jump in a puddle, my mother would yell, Stop that! You'll fall right into the afterlife. Truthfully, though, excited, of course. Our town doesn't have much... Through this proof, you have shown reverence. Well done. Next is the proof of strength. You'll need to... <sighs> to... <sighs> I am sorry. I'm just so tired today. There's been a lot of strange noises at night lately, and I haven't slept very well. You overheard that? Ah, well, yes. I've started hearing noises at night. Heavy breathing, uneven footsteps that seemed to shuffle about. At first I thought I was dreaming it all, but now, now I am not too sure. I don't, though the Magnate has promised to send a patrol out tonight. Hopefully they'll find whatever it is. But you've got a proof. Good luck with the proof of strength, and let me know if you need anything, before we can prove our... What can I do for you, traveler? You wish to prove yourself before your ancestors. Very well. To the north lies a cave wherein beautiful sugar daisies grow. Bring me one and you will have proved your strength. Ah, didn't I mention? The cave also happens to be a cinch lion lair. And I doubt the beasts will be particularly fond of your intrusion. Best of luck, traveler. Make sure the Akaviri have always placed a great, the greatest Akaviri proud war.
Nice. It's bad, man. Have the look of most impressive. I'd say you've certainly made your ancestors proud. Good thing, too. Quite right. It's part of why honoring our ancestors is so important. Happy ancestors gift their descendants with good fortune. Wrathful ancestors, well, they do just the opposite. They curse us with misery, desolation, even death. Yes, death. Of course, you'd need to perform a great dishonor for such a punishment. Not that you have to worry about that. You've proven both your reverence and strength. Now, it's time to test your wit. Head to the town square and speak to Valoria. Don't dawdle now. It isn't our town's mysterious stranger. Magnet Fena Derak told me all about your participation. Have you completed the first two proofs? Excellent, excellent. Then you are ready for the proof of wisdom. <clears throat> I am most useful when empty. I am most generous when full. What am I? Ah. Oh. Of course. What better way to show your wisdom? The riddle describes one of the items on this table. Choose the correct... Best of luck, dear. And if you have any... Ow. Oh. That is indeed the answer. Oh, I'm just so happy you guessed correctly. I was a little worried my riddle was too obscure. I had hoped Magnate Fena Darak would provide a riddle, but she's had her hands full with the festival. Poor thing. She just has a lot riding on her shoulders. We're all seeking to honor our ancestors. But the Magnate's ancestors are a bit, um, harder to live up to. I'm sure it's created a good deal of stress. May your ancestors throughout other... The people of Hakushay? Of course. Inj I'm sure you've heard a great deal about Akaviri culture today. But tell me, did you learn anything about the Magnate herself? Hmm. Everything you've learned seems to support the rumor. A descendant of the potentate would certainly be given such privileges. 
However, my investigation calls for more concrete proof. A document would be best. I've made some inquiries of my own. It seems that Magnate Fena Darak has quite a few records in the cellar of her home. We'll need to break in and search her documents. We need a key, and I'm positive the captain of the guard carries one. If you would do me the kindness of chatting him up for a bit, I'll do my best to obtain the key. Should all go well, we'll be in and out before anyone notices. Very well. Let's get moving, then. Hakoshe was built after the fall of the Akaviri Potentate. It's been... let's see now. Potentate Vesidushe began his polit... Sergio... The Morag Tong, of course. As an agent of the Morag... Ugh. If Mag... Daedric magic at the Edral estate. Greetings! Say, aren't you the traveler who joined the Proving Festival? Are you now? Well, that's certainly an impressive feat. Honestly, this whole affair has been nerve-wracking for me. I'm not too keen on dishonoring my ancestors. Who knows what misfortune would befall me? To be honest, barely. The first two proofs were easy enough. Threw a paper lotus in the river, grabbed a sugar daisy for Vegdrasi. But that last proof, well, it stumped me. Couldn't for the life of me figure out the riddle. I'll admit it, I had a little help. Magnate Fena Derok gave me a hint. She's a gracious lady, our Magnate. Always helping out folks in need. I'm not sure how Hakoshe would fare without her. Glad you could make it. Quickly now, let's head inside. Well, that's so fucking there ominous. There must be something here to take down that barrier. to bet those tablets would fit rather nicely into these sockets on the floor. Oh. Thought I had to actually say which well, one. That certainly wasn't right. Care to try again? East Wind West Earth North Wait North Looks like that did it. Let's hit it. The magnate left a letter on her desk. Interesting, don't you think? Seems this letter confirms that the Magnate is descended from the Potentate. What a pity. Just what are you two doing here? Get out at once! 
traitor! How dare you claim to be of my blood? What? What's happening? Please, no! Mm, that's it all. Well, it seems we've confirmed that Fena Darak is a descendant of the Potentate. Just in time for her to be whisked away by some vengeful spirit. Just my luck. Isn't that part of the Akaviri's beliefs? Disrespect your ancestors and they'll have their revenge. And given the spirit's armor, he was definitely Akaviri. Huh. Makes me wonder what the Magnate did to deserve such a fate. I'm not sure, but it's as good a guess as any. Given the turn of events, we'd best go after them. Perhaps the local tombs? If I know ghosts, they don't often wander far from their graves. Some Akaviri is so upset with the Magnate that he's returned from the dead. And it... At least we have someone to search. Not much? Clever. No wonder Nayu likes you so much. I will say that it is in the Morag Tong's interest. That's not the Morag Tong's concern, now is it? My... Glad you could make it. I see them, just up ahead. Still, you hunt me, assassin scum? Was my death not enough? This disappearing act is getting very old, very fast. He seems to think that I was the Ma who assassinated him. Could be a simple case of mistaken identity. After all, my mother always did tell me I bear a striking resemblance to my grandfather, Methistara. And my finger came off in print. As a member of the Morag Tong, my grandfather executed a great number of people. But, given the location and the armor the spirit wears, let's move ahead. I have a feeling we'll get our answers soon enough. Best if we split up and go our separate ways. Yeah. Epical. Fury definitely Japan on spine.
stuff. Getting closer. There they are. I can't find out what. What can't I find out? Proconsul Baloring Kai, I presume? Very good, Assassin Scott. You and your companion have been most insistent. Come, let us speak. Fena Derov has called my spirit to judge her. By her quill, my name was written. By her hands, the paper lotus placed. And so I have come to punish her wickedness. And yet you try to stop me. Who are you to deny me my revenge? When I escaped Cyrodiil, I had but one man to protect me. Someone I placed my utmost faith in. My utmost trust. Lieutenant Line Bardwick. But when it came time to guard me from my Morog Tong assassin, my protector fled. Yes. Though not before I was able to inflict a mortal wound myself. Both I and my assassin died that day, but not Line Bardwick. He looted my corpse and claimed my name. It was he who founded Hakoshe, not I. Mm -hmm. Her family continued to spread the lies of my betrayer. For centuries they have proclaimed themselves nobility, but all they have inherited is lies. She must renounce her title and tell her people the truth. Only then will I be content. Go then, and convince Feyna Dayrak to speak the truth. Only that will save her. The Proving Festival is a time for the Akaviri people to commune with their ancestors. Not only does it allow the dead to view the living world, it also invites us to cross over. And so I did not kill her as I attempted to kill Line Varduik when first this festival was held. My lieutenant also summoned me by our ancient rites, though he did not realize this. I was compelled to cross... Line Varduik was a strong mm -hmm. mage in his own right. He cast me away. For... I can't believe it. The founder of Hakoshe, my ancestor. You don't understand. To admit such a horrid truth wouldn't just dishonor me. It would dishonor my entire family. All of my ancestors who have done... I... No. No. I don't want to keep lying. The citizens of Hakoshe deserve nothing but my complete honesty. Even if it comes at the cost of my family's reputation. I'll be watching, Feyna Dera. Waiting for you to speak the truth. I'll keep my word. Well, seems like it's time to get going then. I'll meet you in the town square.
It seems my investigation has come to an end. The rumor was false, my family name is cleared, and no one even needed to be executed. A happy ending all around, wouldn't you say? The Morag Tong isn't one to leave loose threads, even one that's been dangling for over a century. Luckily for Fena Darak, my grandfather was able to complete his writ. Here, a reward for services rendered. Now, despite our daring rescue, I'm certain the Magnate doesn't want a member of the Morag Tong hanging about. Though it does look like she's about to make her big announcement, doesn't it? Well, perhaps I'll stick around long enough to watch. If I had to. My, my grandfather was following a writ which called for the death of potentate Severian Chorak and all his heirs. Had Fena Darak been a descendant, I'll let the Morag Tong know your feelings soon as I... My family has long claimed to be descended from the potentate. But this is not the truth. The man who founded the town, my ancestor, was a traitor. He betrayed Proconsul Baloran Kai and stole his name. My family's legacy is only a lie. I revoke my title as a magnate. And should you decide it, I will leave Hakoshe forever. This dishonor is mine to bear. And I accept it. No! We still want you to be our magnate! You're an honorable woman, Fena Darak. You deserve to leave this town! Everyone, thank you. Thank you so much. Finally, I am a vet. <laughs> Got cut off. Greetings, traveler. Honestly, I'm still wrapping my head around it all. My entire life, I thought that I was a descendant of the potentate. To realize, yes, for as long. Cool. Next quest. How's my intro doing? I'm okay for now. No, I actually always have a town. Crafting stuff I need to do, so.
The way this one... Damn it. I mean, I remember the hunting thing that was like, oh, we want to list how high off and riven, riften, and rimen. It's hair. Gotta be. Why milk stop? One, two, three, four. Nazi does not know you. That's good. She knows everyone in the stitches. Those who aren't in Kazda's pocket, she can count on one paw. This one has a job for someone who'd rather pick it. An unknown face like yours is just what she needs. Ah, oh, there's no bloody way I'm gonna get this on without tweezers and I don't have any I'm just going to call that finger lost. Kazda, the dung eater that runs the stitches, has a hoard of gold beneath Merville Keep. Tasnazi plans to make it hers. Ow. Ha. To take from Kazda is no crime. His predecessor, dashing the Salzo, amassed the coin. Kazda only wallows in it, like a pig. We also need Taznazi's old... Who do you want to know about? Best damn mechanist this side of Nibin Bay. Not a common trait for a wood elf, this one. Maybe not the most distinguished mage in elsewhere. The old adept was something back in his... Keep it quick. 
There's a lot to be done. The lowest. The leader of the stitches. Before a den of outlaw. The facade of a legitimate business for Jubani the fence. What passes for a tavern in the stitches. The sewer beneath Merville Keep. Thoroughness is an un... Saw for me. Jew Bonnie and I had a deal. I delivered. True. But why keep paying when we can just make you do it for free? <laughs> now get inside. No. That's just great. You call that a crime? I call that Sunders. Jew Bonnie Stugs. Can you get me out of here? I'm getting out of here. Catch up I to me so I can thank you properly. The guard, but you forced my hand. Thanks for your help back there. Jew Bunny and her thugs are a bunch of hammers that think everything is a nail. Geniuses included. Altruism isn't a thing in the stitches. So what do you want? Need a lock picked? Something repaired? Yeah, it doesn't see her. That's funny. I was just thinking about her recently, seeing what's gone on around this dump. How it's gotten, uh, dumpier than usual. But she's pulling together a job. I swore that Kazda ran her out of town when he took over. <laughs> Last time I ran my mouth, Jew Bunny sent her unexpectedly and some thugs after me. I'm not spilling any more secrets. But it's nice to know Tosnessy's still around. She really loves this place after all. Even after everything that's happened to her. Well, Jew Bunny's sure to notice I'm missing. Joining up with a crew seems like a good way to keep my fingers unbroken. So sure, whatever Tosnessy's playing at, I'm in. Ugh, the bowel. Well, that's all right. That Kazda ran her out of town? Or tried to, I guess. It's not any secret. It may be a rancid pile of cat vomit, but this is his town now. He does what he wants. Bad blood. Truth told, Tosnessy would have been charged after dashing to Salzo died. If things hadn't gone down the way they did. <sighs> Jew Bonnie runs the biggest salvage operation in the Stitches. And she knows she gets paid more if her salvage is in pure junk. When the crew found stuff that wasn't busted up, I'll fix it. Cause that happened. He took over the stitches and didn't care if people broke oaths, contracts, or ribs. Jew Bonnie. Well, most don't. And to be fair, I wasn't always the brilliant tinkerer I am today. I don't know what caused the change, honestly. I think eating that... <laughs> I didn't just pluck one up and eat it. I was scouting for the Dominion way north. Some ruin called Sardathol. I was running from some guards when I fell into a shaft. And fell. And fell. Caught a ledge at the last minute. Broke my fall. And my fingers. Real mess. Anyway, I found myself in this strange cavern. 
Not quite. I finally managed to find the Charis. Big bug. Tastes awful, don't recommend it, but I ate like my life depended on it. I mean, it did. Yeah, I half remember a glowing stone going in my mouth. Swallowed it all. Yeah, more like indigestion, but also this indescribable urge to fiddle with the ruins. <laughs> well, I guess I'd call it curiosity. But anyway, I fixed an elevator like it was second nature and got back home. Interesting. At last, Queen Camira wears the crown. <gasps> I am proud to be living in such times. Aren't you excited? This one is exciting, yes. Though perhaps not quite as obvious as the ones you are. As it stands, the challenges of our game prove that we will soon be seeing the Yes, exactly. She was fighting for holding up the Confanteraxia and we. But she stopped the dragon from gaining whatever power they were seeking. That was Queen Matilda. As you said. This one looks forward to seeing what she does next. Said Nalitha the Avuncular, even in somber times must the Wayfarer be offered greetings. Nazdar greets you, Wayfarer, though his times are somber indeed. What Hotaza the Corpulent often said, the forgetting of friends is a grievous wrong. Wise words. Tasnasi has not visited him in some time, but this one has lost a prized possession, a loot gifted by a dear departed friend it has buoyed nazdar's soul for so long he sinks without truly this one was practicing his loot in the canyon below mm. the truth however noxious is sweeter <laughs> than the rose blossom to quote the venerable a saint he once led the stitches not to glory perhaps but away Oh, that's the dragon. The wagon. As often said by Polu the overstating, your kindness reminds life of decades. The Salzo came 
His death did not rip those bonds. Nazdar knows you see more ribs than muscles on him. This is true, but he once was a brother of the... You have read the works of Vekla the Ephemeral. Nazdar is glad to know a fellow student. Yes, Nazdar was silent for 19 years, but one night in moonlight, some peasant tune hummed by a swineherd going home, but a Gerasti moon... You can make art for others, said Erka of the Bard College, or for yourself. Nazdar knows he is not good enough to make art for others, but... Okay, this is just main. Makes me out the, the some of the kids this size. Hello. Is it? I didn't say that. Well, what I mean is that I'd like to, but if Taznasi wants me for my magical skill, I have some bad news. My focus is gone. I mean, my other focus. My arcane. If he's still focus. from a safe, he can't call the police. Focus magica. I'm useless without it. Hmm. Same. Well, probably more the opposable thumbs. I'd give the gold back, but Kazda's really gouging the price of a bottle these <laughs> Well, sometimes my power gets a little out of control. The Mage's Guild was supposed to help me master it, but they take a dim view of people breaking curfew and getting drunk on kitchen duty and throwing up in the soup. I can't imagine being that size, you'd be able to drink a lot. When I need to cast a spell, I channel my magicka through the focus. It helps me weave everything together. Without it, my spells come out like tangled yarn and the results are... Well... Um, Lulius and Scythian? They sit in the goiter's cup like they own the place. Well, they do technically own it, but that's not the point. Ever since Kazda took over, the twins have doubled everyone's rent, and the amount of what the cost Kazda gave. Goida. No face in the stitches, then. Focus. Looked like a collar to me. Mm. Oh, skippy on. Oh, I thought they were going to be asleep again. Uh. Can't get the taste out of my mouth. Good, Kasta's made the stitches unpalatable. Like that swill he's got the tavern pouring. This time I came across one of the Kazi. I thought I was talking to a talking cat. I freaked out. I'm sure Taznasi feels the same. I need a moment or two. Look, I'll meet you at the bowl. Look, you seem halfway decent, so don't stick your muzzle too far in, alright? Tazna, I'm hazy on the details. You've seen that. 
I've said more. Just a maid. I don't really know. Yeah. Very, a lot of very item. This one order. This one would like to get to know you best. This is certainly 46 gold. Then you got the big beastie boys, look like giant lions. And then you got the fucking dudes that are like fucking nine feet tall. Oh! I thought it was like based on like some sort of tribe thing. Or like the area we're from. Yeah, like, based on parents, basically. That's just weird. Interesting, but weird. I mean, it is very interesting. comes to this, marrying a Khajiit is one thing, but marrying a Khajiit... Yeah, marrying a Khajiit that looks like a house cat, that's a whole other problem. I mean, marrying Khajiits, I've got no problem with that, but if they look like a house cat, then what the fuck? Nazi must speak with you. It's still fucking drunk. Does Nazi has not seen her old crew in some time? Not since. Never mind. You were not followed, yes? Does Nazi is not welcome oh, in the no. stitches. Associates of Does Nazi also not welcome. Print came off the print bed. Damn, I have to level it. Gazda was lieutenant to Dashing de Salzo. Does Nazi as well. Until he was found with her knife in his back. No one cared if she was innocent. They wanted someone to blame. And Gazda gave them an answer. It's not. No, you're right. Does Nazi says she hates this place. She should hate this place. But the stitches is her home. Her family. Does Nazi won't sit idle while Kazda destroys it. Her reasons aren't important. We should discuss the plan. Today, we hit Kazda right under his nose. We'll break into the basement of the Mirville Keep through this sewer, so long as Vol can pick the locks. Ah, locks. Cute. Might as well be fancifully knotted ribbons to me. Good. At the courtyard, we'll have sentries, but Serene's teleportation spell should let us pass unnoticed. Uh, were you talking to me? We'll enter the palace through a second floor storage room. Nazdar will scale the wall and drop a rope for us. As spake Uruwa the observant, I see. Does Nazi and the newcomer will handle any trouble that comes our way. Let's get started. Nice to see you back at work, Bowl. <laughs> Good to be working. You're less of a taskmaster than you, Bunny. Now, let's find some more locks. Good luck, and work quickly.
There's the lock. Watch my back, won't you? Need an ebony pick for this one. You know the drill. A bit stiff, that one. But I'll keep machine grease in my hair. Kaz has done some redecorating, I see. Not sure I like it. Keep the coast clear, won't you? There. Hopefully okay, that's the last of them. My fingers are getting sore. Serene, it's your turn. Uh, everyone stand still, 
You're making me crazy. Just need to concentrate. Focus the power. Imagine the destination. All right, here we go. What the... So far, so good. Now vault. You're sure? The boat, the barkeep. You look sick. Mm. Oh, that's not good. This one prefers his feet. <sighs> Thought I lost you. Moons, you're not hurt, are you? The Nazdar's looking pretty good, actually. Now the not good. You and Nazdar didn't quite make it to where I intended, and it will be a while before I can cast something like that again. There is a basic rule of spellcraft. Do not attempt while drunk. Or while recently drunk. Never been great with rules. <laughs> I ended up losing control of the spell while attempting to teleport to a Nazdar. Taznas, he wants you and Nazdar to make it. Uh, northwest? East? Ish? You have to come through the courtyard, which means. She says it will raise alarms, but. Walk softly, Master Hendo, not me. If we get into trouble, be warned. I cannot help. My fists are weapons no longer. Soft as a whisper, quick as a shout. The first finger of the whispering claw teaches. As the second finger of the whispering claw says, shadows consume curiosity, time, and interest. You made it, both of you. Dasnazi is glad. Sorry about that. When this is all done, I'll buy you a drink. Moon's mercy, Serene. When we're done here, I will smash every bottle of wine in elsewhere. Not if I drink them first. <sighs> Nazdar, you're our way into this tower. Ready? The ascent of the body is nothing compared to that of the soul. Saint Yosito spoke wisely. Uh, wow. I was hoping I would see him go up. I guess the animation was broken. They should make no noise, Bold. No rest, wrote the ascetic. Nazdar's knees tried to tell him he was no longer able to prance like a kitten, but can and should, wrote Rid Faridata, and knowing the difference between them is the cornerstone of wisdom. Nazdar did well to get us inside, but it looks like this strain was more than he could handle. He needs rest, which means Taznazi needs to change her plans. Vol is the closest thing we have to a healer. He might be able to get Nazdar moving again, but he needs time, which means he won't be able to pick the locks on Kazda's vaults. Taznazi wants you and Serene to get the vault keys. This one has other business in the palace. When she's done with it, she will meet you at the entrance to the vault, on the lower floors.
Tazna Z has always said she was innocent of the Salzos. Take care of getting the keys. The thugs in this palace are Kazda's most loyal. Yes, Nazdar ha That was different. Many of the Keep's guards were close to the Salzo. They follow Kazda only because they must. The la The ones who are Nazdar. I'm gonna be able to stick around this place. Well, better I'm paired up. Well, better I'm paired up with you than the ancient adept or the. They'll be this. You know how many bars? I shouldn't have gone through the kitchen with the east. GG. I'm already got that one. So before, the reason my um couldn't come off the bed is I adjusted the level because it was too close to the bed and I over adjusted. It is not a stock, knowing myself. That's there. There you are. He's got her. He's got her. Keep it down. What are you talking about? Kazda, he and his bodyguard, biggest I've ever seen. They cornered Tuznasi and took her back there. You have to save her.
still have one friend left in this world, it seems. Not for much longer. Cut! I remember Mentor as being the other old Scrolls games. It might have been, but I just can't remember them being. Heater on him, it's starting to get cold. Ooh. Please, Tasnasi, spare me. Shut up, Kazda. One more word from your lying tongue, and Tasnasi will claw it out. He did it. Everything Tasnasi suspected him of. He killed the Salzo. He had her take the blame. He was proud of it. Now that I have my. He took this one's home from her. The only one she has known, and he couldn't give it back if he wanted to. She has no proof but his word. Even if he confessed and cleared her name, the stitches she would return to is not the one she left behind. One joy is left to Taznazi, to kill Kazda. Then she leaves this all be The Salzo is dead. Everyone Taznazi has ever known turned their back on her. The stitches are in shambles. Why would this one ever want... You are right. Taznazi has tried to forget, tried to move on. Not a night goes by that she doesn't dream of times past. She knows what must be done. Taznazi will make this one face the justice of the stitches. Wait for her at the tavern in town. Taznazi will only make this offer once. Confess to the stitches for all you have done. And she will not try out your torture devices for herself. My friend, no, more than that, family. Kazda's deeds have been made known to the Stitches. Now Taznazi is home, and you enjoy her hospitality. Raise a mug, kick up your feet, and count your coin. There is much to find. Strange as it seems, so much as anyone can be in charge of the Stitches. With Kazda in exile, there's hope of going back to how it was, how Dashing the Salzo saw it. They have not entirely forgotten. The job is done. They're lying. Well, we didn't get into the vault. How many of those Avernal brothers are there? It's like a couple more. Alright, I don't hop up and make dinner. If you're watching this on YouTube, please like and subscribe. If you're watching on Twitch, please consider following. If you're watching on YouTube and checking out the Twitch stream live, the link will be in the description below. Or you can come watch me at twitch.tv slash 96 I'll be on later tonight after I've had dinner and cleaned the kitchen and all that fun stuff. But yeah, till then, see you later.